When did you first fall in love with Black Barbie? When I first got one in my hand. <laughs> wow. So Netflix have pressed their ear firmly to the ground once again, and they are giving us what we want. Nay, what we demand. A one hour and 53 minute documentary about the first Black Barbie. What a time to be alive. So, I imagine you're all as thrilled and excited as I am, but uh, I guess the only drawback would be, the only criticism is, how are they going to fit the whole story in, in only one hour and 53 minutes? Well, I'll leave that up to the wizards over at Netflix. Uh, let's get into the show. <laughs> Oh, Daniel Bullen, this is a heavy hitter. Do you guys know who this is? You've gone your whole life and you've never seen anything made in your own image. Well, there was my kids, that was all right, but uh, I needed action figures. <laughs> uh, have you ever thought about uh, all the ugly people in the world? How the, nobody makes uh, dolls for them, do they? Eh? Ever thought about that, Mega Brain? There is damage done. Yeah, uh, I'm a Barbie girl. Somber reprisal. Uh, I like it, you know? I thought that had gone out of vogue when uh, Team America made fun of that. You know, with a... America! Fuck yeah! I thought that had kind of killed it off. You know, because whenever we realise that something that's meant to make you feel uh, all dark and soulful is uh, cliche, you can no longer do it anymore. But, um, well, apparently you can. When I think of Barbie, I see a little white doll with blue eyes. Yep, me too. That's absolutely right. I uh, also see that. That's the classic Barbie. I think we all agree that that's the best one. In all pink. That's what I think. I just found Barbie to be a little light skinned. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, LaFonda. All right. Uh, we, uh, it, you can't go around saying stuff like that. You know, it's not funny, somebody's uh, skin tone. You know, imagine if I just went, Grace Jones, <laughs> I just found a little <laughs> dark skinned for my liking. I've heard that somewhere. Somebody said that. It's in a uh, Vanity Fair, isn't it? Uh, Osborne, what's he called? Uh, uh, who marries the Sedley's daughter because he, re he re turns out he's not going to marry the mulatta heiress because he, he decides to stay faithful to his childhood sweetheart. It's a lovely moment when he says, and I don't actually quite like the tone of her skin. Those were the good old days when you could just say what was on your mind. No one was going to judge. Sambo, be a good chap and uh, fetch my trunk. <laughs> I, uh, Sambo's another cat. Years ago, there were no black dolls. There were all white dolls. There were only white dolls. <laughs> it reminds me of, uh, of Muhammad Ali when he goes on that rant about white and black, you know. Uh, the angel cake is the, the, the uh, heavenly, uh, and the, the, the chocolate cake is the devil's cake. Mary had a little lamb, his feet as white as snow, and snow white, and everything was white. Son. It's like, what the fuck are you even talking about, Muhammad? Uh, and I always refute that video with uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, Chapter from Moby Dick. The whiteness of the whale. It was the whiteness of the whale that above all things appalled me. All right. I didn't like whiteness in that book. So, you know, that'd make a good video, wouldn't it? Me contrasting Muhammad Ali and uh, Her Her Herman Melville. That'd get the viewers. The little white girls, they can see possibility in their Barbies. All these lunatics may have a point about uh, representation and stuff, because uh, I remember looking at the action men and stuff when I was uh, younger and thinking, why don't they? You know, I didn't have that body as an 11-year-old. Uh, I was like, where is little puppy tits? Eh? Uh, you know, uh, uh, why isn't he crying? 
<laughs> uh, but I was there making plasticine cocks. It's not anatomically correct. Yeah. Danny, it's time for your mentoring session. You show your, uh, you can show your mentor what you've been working on today. Don't worry. I will. No, I'm kidding. I never did anything there. Uh, I was not one of those kids. Close, but not quite. And there was nothing that I can relate to. Oh, get a grip. Pull yourself together, woman. I've never been able to relate with anything or anyone. And look at me. My life is fine. Okay? I, uh... No doll is gonna solve your fuckedness. Alright? That's what I've learned. This is me and the creator of OIB. Ah, uh, there she is, Ruth Handler. Uh, not handling that situation very well, though. Mm -hmm. Help. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm sure she couldn't wait to make all those black Barbies, but uh, they'll, they'll, we'll find out, won't we? They've got an hour and 53 minutes. I'm sure they'll cram it in somewhere, that part of the story. At my tails, I worked on the lines. She would say, do you have any suggestions? I was able to say, we want a black boy be. I'm sorry, that accent is fucking crazy. If I tried to imitate that accent, I would be in prison, and rightfully so. At my tails, I worked on the lines. She would say, do you have any suggestions? I was able to say, we want a black boy be. That was a little act of revolution. A little act of revolution is no understatement. There could have been a bloodbath. They was killing each other in the streets. Mateo. Crowning this doll as Barbie was telling the world black is beautiful too. Black is beautiful too. I mean, they could put a bloody uh, spoiler warning on these trailers, eh? It feels like they're showing us the best bits of the hour and 53 minutes, uh, you know. I hope the rest isn't just filler. I hope the whole documentary isn't a load of redundant, repetitive shite. I'm a black magic girl. I designed Black Barbie to reflect the total look of a black woman. Well, it certainly reflected the whole look of a black woman on a catwalk in Nairobi. But, uh, you know, the same can be said for the white Barbie, you know. That doesn't look like anyone I know, you know. Uh, I hope people get the point of this video. I've got no problem with them making Black Barbie. I'm not boycotting. Uh, Barbie for having started making black Barbies, uh, you know, 50 years ago or whenever this happened. I'm just a little bit confused as to how you can drag this out for one hour and 53 minutes. That's the only point of my video. I suppose a lot of you are amazed that I'm dragging it out as long as I am. But imagine an hour and 53 minutes. Imagine if this video went on for an hour and 53 minutes because I'm critiquing what they're talking about. Where do they go from this trailer? I'm gonna have to watch the whole thing. She's black, she's beautiful, she's dynamite. I thought Black Barbie felt magical. From a young age, children can learn about inclusiveness. You know, uh, I'm never sure whether, uh, whether teaching kids about inclusiveness, like in terms of anything other than just including everyone, uh, is a, you know, if the kids are just playing with some Barbies, you know, you barge in with the black Barbie, like, what, what, what about the, the black Barbie? Are you going to include black Barbie today? It's inclusiveness. I, I, I don't know how well this analogy is going to go down, but I'm saying I've seen a lot of videos where, you know, you'll put, like, a, a tiger cub, a pig, uh, some puppies, um, whatever, and a goat in a cage together and uh, they get along like a house on fire anyone who's got dogs and cats in the same house <laughs> they get on like dogs and cats they get on fine you know they just they, you set the rules everything's you know you don't have to give the uh, the dog cat chew toys or whatever do you know what I mean I know what I mean really pretty as locks just like me 
black Barbie was just taking me to a whole different world. A whole different world? Why, well, you'll have to watch the whole hour and 53 minutes feature length <laughs> documentary uh, to find out which world black Barbie has taken that lady to. I knew Black Barbie was different, but I never realized the magnitude. Ooh, another hook there. Mm. Black Barbie. I knew Black Barbie was different, right? We know that. Us idiot audience know that Black Barbie is different color, right? But do you know the magnitude? Well, you'll have to sit down and watch the whole uh, 113 minutes in order to find out. <laughs> Black disabled Barbie, now that I have got to get for my kids. My son as well, right? Uh, I've got to ram that down his throat. Play with disabled Black Barbie! You're not including her. When did you first fall in love with Black Barbie? When I first got one in my hand. <laughs> And it comes out on Juneteenth, my favorite federal holiday. And I know what all you uh, Americans are thinking. You're thinking, what do you know about federal <laughs> holidays? Well, I, I follow the American calendar, you know? I don't play by these European rules, okay? Here's the thing about you uh, Americans. You, you think that us British, we think we're better than you. And we don't. I don't. I've always wanted to be American. Because, you know, we're all snidey and ironic and, ooh, Monty Python, we were so clever, right? But, but, we know you're cooler, right? So I'll be celebrating Juneteenth with black disabled Barbies and fucking getting all pet... No, I won't. Uh, what do you do on Juneteenth? Let me know. How do you celebrate Juneteenth? Fireworks? I don't know. The turkeys? Um, I don't know, but uh, whatever you do uh, to celebrate Juneteenth, let me know in the comments. And um, I don't know, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like and, uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this all over the place. People need to know about Black Barbie. Okay, and uh, and about me. So, and if you want to help out with the channel, check out my Patreon. We've got some secret videos up there. More coming very soon. Uh, you know, for a five or a month, you can make this <laughs> this continue. Maybe we'll be here next Juneteenth to celebrate together. Hopefully. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Because I, I look good. Better. You I look smell better. good. I yes. feel good. And you sing good. And make love good. Oh. Well, there we are. We don't have to ask anybody else. We got that from the source. <laughs> there you are.